Today, we will create a new master services agreement starting from a template. Once you select your template MSA, a form will appear. You will be asked to identify the parties to the agreement. First, the external entity, which is your client, supplier, faculty, or vendor you will sign this contract with. Then, the internal entity, which is a subsidiary within your group that is going to sign this contract. Then you will have to complete the rest of the form. For the purpose of this demo, the form is already partly completed. We call this information metadata or properties. This form is fully configurable and dynamic. You can configure it to show exactly what you need and when you need it. You can also determine which metadata are mandatory and which ones are optional. One of our key features is the ability to build a contract not just from a template, but from a template and possible alternative clauses. This leaves you much more flexibility in your contract creation process and allows you to manage less templates as your templates get more flexible. Here, for instance, we will select which clauses we want to have in this MSA. Do we want a non-solicitation clause or not? Yes. Do we want to allow assignment of the contract? Let's say we don't. Do we want to allow the counterparty to make publicly available our work together? Let's say we allow publicity in this contract. Once you have completed the form, you can save and your contract will be created. We can apply naming conventions to rule how the contract will be named. Here, the type of contract and the name of both parties. Once the contract is created, you will have access to both the contract itself and the contract info card, where you will have all the key information you need in the contract. Some information automatically retrieved back from the entities you selected as parties to avoid double manual entry, such as addresses, country of incorporation, or registration number. If you notice you made a mistake when completing the form, you can easily correct it. There, that's better. If you go to the contract itself, you can see it contains placeholders for the name of the parties or their addresses, but also, if you go a bit below, for full clauses, including publicity clauses. AODOC CLM will automatically build the contract based on the information you had selected in the form. Let's click on the Assemble button here. You see, the publicity placeholder was replaced by a clause allowing publicity, as selected originally in the form. And if you go on top of the contract, you see the name and address of the parties was also completed. For the purpose of this demo, we wanted to show you how it works behind the scenes, but you can make this step transparent to your end users so they just see the contract once fully built.